Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Hey, I have come up with a recipe for the pouring medium for this little piggies. Now, if it works, fine. If it doesn't, you probably won't see this video. <laughs> I've been doing some practice practices on tiles and um, it's highly reactive. I'm using the bare mix. The deco art mix does not work. Um, it's just not good. So we've got an 11 by 14 uh, Artist Loft level two. And this is Twinkle. This is Lakeside. This is Ore. And this is Sapphire. And those are my colors tonight. And I found that I have to put a lot of color. Now what I did too is on the bear mix, I had to tone it down. I added some Artist Loft and I added some Floetrol, American Floetrol. The pouring medium is Liquitex Basics Acrylic Gloss Gel Medium. That is one teaspoon. This is one teaspoon of the Pebio Studio Acrylic Bindex. I wet my pigments with one teaspoon of the Liquitex pouring medium. And I have one teaspoon of the, um, the pigment. Now I added American Floetrol. I don't have the, the bottle out because it's huge. But um, the American Floetrol, I added an eighth of a cup. So that's two tablespoons. So here we go. So I've got my bear mix that has been doctored up because it was too reactive and it might have just been because it was on a tile um, on a um, surface like this it might be a little bit different oh I forgot to do this I got a new sink today I got a stainless steel sink had it um, it's a little things in life you know um, I had it a different sink and it was it was it was really so hard because I had to bend down to um, clean my art supplies and um, it was hurting my back. So I got one that's a little bit taller and shallower and it's a double sink. So that's all good. All right, let me see what my little brush is. Here it is. And we're just going to paint our sides. Hopefully this turns out well. Um, yeah, the bear mix really eats up the color. I think I put too much of this down. And how to fix that? A little paper towel. Less is more, Michelle. Less is more. <laughs> Jeez, when will I learn? Although, I am going to be putting a lot of color down on this because it um, the mix just eats it up. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just hoping it turns out well. So I'm going to flood my canvas. This is five ounces. And notice how it's thicker. I did make this mix a little bit thicker um, because I was having issues with it when it was thin. It was ghosting too much. Oops. And I found that the cells were holding better when I had, um, oh, I still have something in there. Do, 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 do. You only see it when you're tilting it too, you know? See, there it is. Ta-da! So we do want to move a lot of this paint off, even though it is thin, uh, thicker. We want to make sure we have just enough paint for the pour. What happened to my, there it is. Just wanna make sure I've got all these little crusties out. Crusties come from the, um, the side of the containers that they're in. So I'm using glass now. All right. Move, please, move. I see another one.
good to get those out ahead of time. All right, swish, swish. All right, oh, I hope this works, I hope this works, I hope this works. All right, so we're gonna start, what are we gonna start with? I think I'll start with some of the lighter colors. Well, maybe not, I don't know. I just didn't know. Um, I don't want to start with the interference because that one I should put on over top of the, the blue. So, or under, I know what I'm going to do. Here we go. Lots of color. You'll see what I mean. And the gold barely reacts. And we'll put some more of that. So that's a lot of paint. Okay, so let's tilt. It's tilt, tilt in time, as the Massey boys would say. Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this a lot. The gold doesn't usually react too well. We'll see what happens. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it, I've been getting a ton of cells with this. So, oh my goodness, I'm really liking this. Okay, let me see. That's pretty. Oh my. All right. Um, it might react differently on the canvas than it did on, this is the tile. Look at that guys. It's like, holy cow. But because you have a different substrate, that could affect it. Um, I'm probably gonna play with this as I always do but I'm liking what's happening so far. And I did have to thicken up that um, cloud mix because it was just too reactive. But this is looking good so far, I'm liking it. So let me put you, let me torch it first and put you on. Tide lapse. Okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse now. Hey guys, wow, I spent so much time on this. 
and I'm not even sure I quite like it, but I'm gonna do another one. Um, the only thing is I'm gonna do it monochromatic. Um, we do have a lot of sparkle though. There's that sapphire and the ore. And these are all pigments. There's no, there is absolutely no um, to paint in here whatsoever. So that ore is gorgeous. Um, it does react the bearer, but the, the decor it's even it's worse. It's just worse. Let's see a little bit of the lakeside. The lakeside kind of got lost. I love this right here where the lakeside showing through. Um, and then the ore is coming through the sapphire there. And beautiful, beautiful cells. Yep. It's not horrible, but there's a lot of cloud pearls and not enough color. So let me, ch I'm gonna try another one and I'm gonna do on monochromatic this time. Ciao for now. Please like, share, and subscribe, and please be safe and create.